Hey y'all, Jamie from Country Diggers. Today we are going to do a little history on Richard Hudnut. He is the cosmetics guy <laughs> who uh, made the Dewberry, um, the Dewberry cosmetic line. Now this, this one, this compact we found at our uh, Creekside dump and Tara found it. I think it was at our Creekside dump, I think. Anyway, Tara found it and she gave it to me, which I don't know why, because it's beautiful. <laughs> but um, it's made by Richard Hudnut and it's a dewberry, and we will be telling the history on that. I hope y'all can see good. But I'll get back to you in a minute with the history on the dewberry com cosmetics. All right. All right. I hope y'all are able to see that pretty good. All right. We'll start with the dewberry compact is... Uh, 1920s to 1930s, this particular compact is. All right, Richard Hudnut, June 2nd, 1880, 1855 to October 30th, 1928, is a jointly held French and American trademark created in 1880. It has two main headquarters, one on Fifth Avenue in New York City, and another one on the Rue, Rue de la Pelix in Paris. Excuse me if I don't say this French words right. Richard Hudnut successfully created 90 different fragrances and a multitude of cosmetics. Richard started out working for his father, Alexander Hudnut who was a competent uh, pharmacist, but also an astute marketer. Richard was Alexander's eldest child and the only one of the next generation who followed in his father's footsteps. In 1873, at the age of 18, Richard went to work for his father in his store for the next seven years working from the ground up Richard learned the drugstore business. During this time, Richard was exposed to techniques and formulas dealing with the creation of toilet preparations. In 1880, Hudnut's Pharmacy was selling perfumes and <clears throat> toilet articles, as well as cosmetics. Richard Hudnut became known as America's most notable perfumer. He spent an extended time in France and gained the knowledge about the French perfume industry that enabled him to create his own distinctive perfumes in America. France left a positive impression on him, especially the south of France, the source of much of France's essential oils. Richard started advertising in 1893. Some of the advertisements read, Are you too fat? Are Hudnut's Marion Bad Reduction Pills will cure obesity. I wish there was a cure, <laughs> cure for obesity. Just take a pill and cure obesity. But, <laughs> Um, the Richard Hudnut Sextuple Perfumer. <laughs> now, perfumes. Now, uh, Sextuple, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the odor of, uh, violets sent by male on trial. Male on trial. There is no guesswork about our plan. We have devised a new ideal in perfumery, and it, if after ordering a box of Hudnut, Hudnut's Concrete 
perfume tablets, <laughs> you are not entirely, if you are not entirely satisfied, we will at once and without question refund your money. And it was uh, 50 cents for the perfume <laughs> during that time. <laughs> Now, Richard Hudnut's sextet of harmonies in perfume, six exquisite floral concentrations for the handkerchief, unique in point of fragrance and sweetness, sold in a dollar bottles, sold in dollar bottles only, each in handsome monogrammed boxes or the six in a case. But in 1900, Richard launched what would prove to be one of his most important perfumes and cosmetic lines with an unashamed French identity, Dewberry, named after the Comtesse Jeanine Dewberry, the famed beauty in the court of King Henry, I mean, King Louis XV, the new fragrance could not have failed to be recognized by the buying public as representing the essence of feminine beauty, intrigue, and even a hint of scandal. The perfume's namesake rose from obscurity to the pinnacle of what French society could offer. And finally, with these words, as she mounted the steps of the guillotine, you are going to hurt me. Oh, please do not hurt me. To a tragic and probably undeserved public execution. And that was during the French Revolution in 1793. So Dewberry was um, a real woman. <laughs> but um, that that's kind of interesting, y'all. Huh? If you want to read more about Richard Hudnut and the Dewberry Cosmetic line, um, you can look it up yourself and read about it. All right, y'all. See you back.